I haven't got a quote. That could be the quote, can't it? I haven't got a quote. <laughs> there is no quote. Chris there isn't is no here. Quote. That's the quote. Where's Chris? <laughs> Where's Chris? Hello and welcome to the Science Fiction Rating System, or well, two-thirds of it anyway. My name yeah. is Sam Draper. I'm joined not by Chris Redding, but by Alex Humphrey. Hello. Where How is Chris? Chris oh. is very excitingly off making his alien film, isn't he? So Yeah. As he's been talking about every week for a while now, he's he's doing this alien short. So this week and next week he's pretty much full time film director, isn't he, I suppose? Yeah. So, Lucky him. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yes, we've been doing things a bit differently. No film to review this week or next week. Uh, we're just going to... We don't know what we're doing, do we, really? We're just going to talk about some films. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's see, we had two options. We could have either done a podcast live from the set of an alien spin-off film <laughs> yeah. with a bunch of famous people or us just rambling. So yeah. we went with us just rambling and watching bad trailers. Yeah. Yeah, lucky uh, you. Yeah, so let's get to some of these trailers. So what what have you brought to the table this week, Alex? What's this? What's the well, thinking behind these trailers? It's just things that I get a bit bored sometimes, sometimes. And it's always, it's, I'd have to say, it's quick time where most of these terrible trailers have come from. It's not yeah. like other sites. It seems to be quick time. It's out, up down to you, Apple, I'm sorry to say. You seem to have most of these terrible trailers. So it's just a few things that I've noticed and I've watched and thought, hmm, that's bad. Um, so that we'll start with Hover, because um, it is a sci-fi film, which, you know, in a way, should we even include it? Because, like, they kind of know they make bad films. <laughs> well, do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes yeah, yeah. their stuff just is discounted. But I think yeah. this this film, Hover, I do think this is, um, it is supposed to be serious, this film. Um, right. Okay. Yeah, and I, I, it's uh, it's written and starring Cleopatra Coleman, who'd been in stuff. <laughs> I don't know, but it's kind of worrying already, isn't it? You know. I, I, who is Cleopatra Coleman? I've heard of her. She's been in some. Uh, she's been in some TV series and stuff. Maybe Last Man on Earth. I don't. I don't know. She's not very famous, but anyway. Right. Okay. Uh, so the plot is: drones are used in agriculture to optimize production and as sentinels. An employee discovers a connection between his job assisting in suicides and his employer's ownership of the drone manufacturing. Now, that is a weird synopsis, isn't it? That is the main IMDb synopsis. That's wow. odd, isn't it? That's an odd synopsis. That is a... <laughs> it sounds someone's more like got a... someone's got a problem with drones, basically. Yeah, it sounds more like I, I don't know. It, it doesn't really sound like a plot synopsis, does it? Anyway, so no. should we delve into Hover? Let's, let's watch Hover. Yeah, there's a very there's a, a guy being killed early on that is pretty funny. So look out for that. Okay. My partner was murdered. I'm looking for answers. Drones. Those things are evil. No good come to anyone who got a drone. These new Sentinel drones are developed with the Department of Defense to monitor forward operating bases in hostile environments. Reconnaissance and submission. That is uh, incredible. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, so you're saying that the woman, Cleopatra Cohen, wrote that? Yes, she wrote that as well. Yeah, and so How it. odd. I know. And I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying drones aren't scary, obviously, but that is like completely reaction like that is over the top about drones isn't it um, yeah. and like you say they're so huge you can see them I mean the scary thing about drones is they're very small they're the, huge yeah the one the bit when the policeman accosts somebody the drone next to him looks like he's just got like a wheelie bin <laughs> like hovering next to him isn't it <laughs> yeah I think I read there's a review of it on IMDb and I think it seemed to say the drones have a heat ray right yeah. And I think it seemed to imply that someone defeats a drone with a bow and arrow. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what the the IMDb uh, review said. It was a very negative review, put it this way. I'm sorry. Sorry, Cleopatra Coleman. The IMDb review was not nice to you. Uh, so I think as we watch these trailers, we should uh, do a trailer ranking system as we... Uh, well, that is as low. We, uh, so, so, so far, that's got number one, because we only watched one, so that comes yeah. in at number one hover, but yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I will say, in its defence, it looked it looked moderately expensive, didn't it? It didn't look too yeah. cheap. 
No, it's it's not badly done, but it just yeah. the plot is pretty rubbish. And, yeah, no, I yeah. think I think we're gonna dive to deeper depths as we go on, aren't we? So, yeah, what's what's, what's your second selection? The second one is uh, it's a terrible name. Twenty thirty six origin unknown. <laughs> uh, it's I terrible, love it. It's, it's a terrible brilliant. name for a film. Uh, it stars I can't say her name. I'm sure you. Katie Sackoff. Thank you, Katie. I'm not Sackhoff. sure if that's how you say it, but yeah, from Battlestar yeah. Galactica. So yeah, so the plot of the... I mean, and that is the main selling point of this film, it seems to be. Uh, after a failed yeah. mission to Mars, AI, Artie, is now used for the 2036 mission with a few human survivors. A monolith of unknown origin is found there. It will have a big effect on Earth. <laughs> Again, this is the main IMDb plot synopsis. <laughs> who wrote that plot synopsis? A- someone who of, was phoning it in. Yeah, someone who copy and pasted half of fucking 2001's plot synopsis in to there but yeah and half but, the title as well well yeah um i think yeah it's the a it's the it's not her i not i don't want to be mean about her but it's the ai in this the voice of the robot is particularly terrible i saw it right clip, okay and the voice of the robot is really annoying it's always um, quite telling when you put it into youtube and on the up next on the side the actual film pops up saying uh, <laughs> Watch, watch from three pounds forty nine on YouTube movies. So, oh dear. So you ready? Katie Sackoff. Yeah, let's have a watch this. Here we go. Good morning, Artie. I'm pleased to report that all systems are nominal on the Mars lander craft. Let's see if we could find out what happened. Let's give it a shot. Launch countdown. Initiated. What the? Why are we launching five hours early? Who authorized it? I did. I mean, yeah, that on it doesn't look doesn't look funny, bad, does it? It just looks no. devoid of any sort of ideas, and uh, <laughs> that that AI is incredible. Though. You're right, his voice. It's I don't know why they picked that voice. It's such an odd voice. I wonder if that's like I wonder who that is. Let's have a look. Who who plays? What's it called? Twenty thirty six. Origin unknown. How can you forget the title? Uh... The voice is Stephen Cree. No, he's not. I thought it might be the director or something like that. No. No. It looks not. bad, doesn't it? And it looks... I mean, they showed the whole film there as well. I mean, pretty much, didn't they? Yeah. There's no surprises now. I feel, I feel a bit sorry for old Katie Sackhoff there. Mm. Is it better than the last film? Uh, ooh, are, we, are we ranking the trailers or the films? We should rank the trailers. Yeah, I think, I think, I, I think Hover had a better trailer. I think I've had a better trailer. That's really yeah. sad. I think twenty thirty six origin. No, it, it's it wasn't funny enough to be good, was it? So no, goes, no. goes to the bottom of the list. Yeah. Um, so next, next up, are you ready? Cool. Yes. Bleeding Steel. Uh, it's a Jackie Chan film. It's made with a lot. I think it is from made with Hong Kong uh, with you know Chinese money. Uh, a special yeah. forces agent is assigned to protect a scientist and his creation from a sinister gang. So that's pretty good. That's like a quick synopsis. Yep, I think yep. that's that's what you want. I think again with this, look out for the the character design of the main villain. That's what I want you to kind of right, see if you okay. recognise maybe an influence there on, on what he looks like. Right, okay. I feel like you've turned me into a monster. You're gonna suffer everything I've suffered. Go. Yes, sir. We don't have much time. All my work is in her body. She must be protected. What Andre needs is Nancy's mechanical heart. Andre can make an army as long as she lives. Bleeding no steel. It's, it's pretty cool, actually, isn't it? It's so stupid, it could actually be really good. Yeah, that film had got... At one point, you'd got, like, spacemen getting out of, like, an Audi estate... <laughs> You've got yeah. a Borg, Anakin yeah. Skywalker, a spaceship. Yeah, a weird kind of like, uh, look like a computer game woman who was like yeah. a kick-ass assassin In like a woman. Fifth Element sort of lounge. Yep, yeah. a fight on the top of the um, Sydney... Sydney um, Opera House. Opera House. Yeah. Jackie Chan's wig. Jackie Chan in a mech suit, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Jackie Chan, whose aggressive English seems to have gone backwards from when he was actually like... <laughs> In, yeah. <laughs> in films regularly. Isn't he like yeah. a, a, a big piece of shit, Jackie Chan? Isn't that why he's not over is anymore? He? I think he's, uh, yeah. Uh, 
I do quite like. I mean, I like him. I like his films, but he, I think uh, tax be, issues. I think. Uh, okay, it'll be in anything though, won't he? I mean, face yeah. it. As long as there's some money, he'll he'll do it. Well, a, I think for me, that's going straight to the top of the trailers yeah, ranking. That one, that it's looks a, good. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty good trailer, actually. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. It, it needs to be seen. I think. It was like we saw the trailer for about five films at once, wasn't it? Really, it was <laughs> like a quiet family drama, yeah, a, me- a mech film, a Borg film, comedy, a, bit of a comedy, comedy, yeah, kind of, yeah, cop film. Anyway, anyway, well, this next film, uh, mm. co-directed and starring James Franco, you got to be worried about that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I, I, this is the only one I've seen. Already seen this trailer. Okay, Future yeah. World. Yeah. Also got. It's an eclectic cast. It Suki, is. Suki Waterhouse, Snoop Dogg, Method Man, <laughs> Lucy Liu, and Mila Janovic. Yeah. And then weirdly, the IMD plot synopsis is, a young boy searches a future world wasteland for a rumoured cure for his dying mother. Now, I've watched like the, this trailer, and I don't remember seeing that happening in this trailer. <laughs> it's mainly just James Franco thinking he's in Mad Max, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it looks like a, a shit fury road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I've got thoughts on this one. Let's watch the trailer, okay. but yeah, this is, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's here. Wake up. Who are you? I've been looking for you for a long time. Show me death. This is me, Carson. I'm the happy. Her name's Ash. She's the perfect woman, right? Incorruptible. God, I love that. I think I want me a robot. I mean, that just really just sucks, doesn't it? It's just James Franco shouting and kind of licking people, and there's a lot to unpack here, isn't there, really? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for one, it is just Mad Max, isn't it? It's a yeah. ripoff of Mad Max. Um, yeah, bolted on to a story of like there's a robot and she could be the savior of the, the of the planet. I guess is that kind of like kind of battle angel Alita kind of. I, I don't know. Is I that? Think, I think that's what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's directed by uh, Chase Franco, isn't it? Yeah. Um, as well. Yeah. As well as yeah. someone else. What was the other? Um, I didn't see the other name, but he's not on his so own. So Bruce, Bruce, Bruce Thierry Chung. So I wonder if that guy's got some sort of dirt on James Franco. <laughs> it just looks bad, doesn't it? I mean, it just looks bad. It doesn't. I don't. It's, it, it's so obvious what it's ripping off, but that's actually quite a high I just caliber cast. Yeah, I just don't get how it, this. Why is James Franco making this film? You know what is. Mm. Because he's in he's, a lot. I mean, he works constantly, yeah, but he's actually it, directed this, so he's obviously taken a bit more time out. It's like he skipped the middle bit of his career and gone to like late Nicolas Cage era, old or anything, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of or kind of Dennis Hopper crazy, know. you know, Super Mario Waterworld Dennis Hopper time, you know? Yeah. Kind of rent a villain like Ispan. Yeah. Yeah. Very it's, odd. Um, but uh, yeah, as I said, when we're watching it, at least Snoop Dogg is uh, mm. a getting paid and b enjoying himself <laughs> as he always is. I think I want me a robot. Yeah, no, he looks like he's fun in that, but it just looks kind of a bad film, doesn't it? I mean, she's obviously yeah, in looks... love with that little boy. I mean, I didn't see him looking for a cure for his mum. He no, obviously wasn't the main character either. Like, it's very weird. Yeah, no, that looks that. Uh, where bottom. are we going to put that in our little list? I think bottom. Yeah, I think yeah, right. it's yeah. the bottom because it's just yeah. annoying. It's just obviously Mad Max. It's just annoying. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So Brilliant. last last one I'm bringing to the table is yeah uh, the Humanity Bureau, which is nothing to do with the Adjustment Bureau. That terrible film with uh, do you remember that film with um, oh god Matt Damon Matt Damon where you could wear a hat and you could get through hidden oh it's terrible yes anyway. Yeah. It's a Nicolas Cage film, um, one of the millions that are coming out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, but, but a, a little aside though, um, mm. Mandy is that what it's called? Yes, Mandy. That looks amazing. What, have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. No, nor me. I'm, uh, but like, yeah, as you say, like Nicolas Cage making. I mean, it's not sci-fi, is it? I suppose Mandy. It's more horror. But no, it's yeah. I mean, if you've not watched that trailer at home, go and watch that because mm. he has yes. made. Probably not a good film, what, since the 90s, 
<laughs> I think I've seen quite a few films where he's been good, but the film has been bad. So, yeah. Like, I've seen quite a few films where that's happened, where he's actually acting, but it, it's not a good film. But there was one with Elijah Wood where they were kind of cookie cops, where they were both really acting. Right. Um, but it wasn't a good film. But Isn't it that what happened, basically, he's got a massive... Um like a tax bill or something, isn't he? He's paying mm. off. Isn't that why he does all these films? It, it's, it's, I thought it was that he bought a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton right. illegally, right? So he, right. Ele- he bought a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton or just a skull illegally and yeah. then someone found out and said, you need to give that back and then he didn't get any money back. So obviously he just spent like billions <laughs> on this skull of a T-Rex and just, just doesn't have the T-Rex anymore. I thought it was that, but maybe that's bullshit. I don't know. Like he's amazing, isn't he? I'd yeah. love to go to a. You know, he's he's like crypt in New Orleans. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't. Have you ever seen that? He's uh, he's built this. Let me see if I link to it. it. This is like peak um, Nicholas Cage madness when you have money. He basically built himself a gigantic pyramid tomb in uh, in the middle of New Orleans. Let me see if I can find you a picture of it. Here we go. Uh, yeah. And it, I think like in the, it was in the late nineties he built it. He wasn't that old. No. Um, this. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like massive. Wow. Uh, yeah, and it's still there. Obviously, waiting for him yeah. to be to be buried in him. But imagine. It looks, like, it looks like a little shutter. It looks like that like opens up. Like it's either a garage or that's amazing. It's it's incredible. He's wow. such a strange man. Uh, well, okay. I don't think this film is going to get him that money that he needs. Right, um, okay. <laughs> it's a, dy- a dystopian thriller set in the year 2030, so six years behind uh, Origin Unknown. Yes. Uh, that sees the world in a permanent state of economic recession and facing serious environmental problems as a result of global warming. So, kind of standard mm. stuff, really. But yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's watch the trailer. I'm aware of the danger. I'm making this trip of my own free will and without coercion. As you know, across Humanity Bureau, we have an appointment. You must be a productive citizen. It is the law. New Eden will provide you with the fresh start you so rightly deserve. But don't you want a better life? I'm no fool. I know the truth. I am a citizen of the United States of America. Hi. Timed at the White House. Uh, I want to see it, literally just because of the line reading of... What is the truth? <laughs> it just actually that looks like it could be so bad it's hilarious doesn't it like and, it just yeah, like, like I said that really shot in, in the car like in a 50 sort of fake <laughs> bouncing car. up and down yeah yeah and, and that the, the child getting very slowly reversed onto as well seemed to be and just that guy with the patch who is like he's so <laughs> awful I think I mean that to me is probably oh, is it number two the Jackie Chan one was better wasn't it yeah I think that's <clears> that's <throat> number two I think definitely it's number two, number two yeah. the bullet. I think that and the Jackie Chan are the ones of those I, I actually want to watch definitely I think uh, yeah um, yeah everything brilliant. else is uh, trash. thanks thanks for those uh, Alex it's okay um, glad we could I could share those with you <laughs> so I th- well first of all I'll do a little bit of news just pad this out a little bit more and I've got a nice segue from that oh because I was thinking there's obviously not much being announced at the minute but it's going to Christmas some big films coming out let's just go through those and the film that I'm most looking forward to this Christmas has got Nicolas Cage in it oh do you know what film that is no what is it it's Into the Spider-Verse oh that does look very good yes he is in it you, you watched the trailer for that I have watched the trailer for that it looks really good yes yeah, very so, good animation. Like, yeah. it looks like it could actually be quite good in 3D as well, weirdly. Yeah, it's a strange, yeah, sort of, it looks like hand drawn CGI, doesn't it? Weirdly. Mm. Yeah. It's odd style. Um, I guess, though, that's what modern, like Batman Ninja watched the week was like mm. that as well. But no, yeah. it looks uh, all star cast. Um, yeah. Nicholas Cage is in there, and um, it just looks really interesting in a way that I didn't, I hated Spider Man Homecoming. I didn't like it at all, <sighs> but. Wrong, this looks but... like something exciting. Well, at least, at least, unlike DC, they have decided with with they're sitting on that Spider Man property and they want to do something yes. with it, and at least they're doing something interesting with it. So, well done, yeah, twentieth century Fox for yeah, that he's got a for proper release, not just a straight DVD, yeah. and the budget to match looks really yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other big thing we had pegged for Christmas. You remember our predictions at the start of the year? <gasps> oh, Do you yeah. remember uh, Battle Angel Alita? Yes. Yes. Being put back, delay, it's not coming out. 
Oh, so if we pick that, then that yeah. doesn't count. Uh, it's uh, yeah, irrelevant. Um, it's, but, I mean, I mean, it looks terrible, doesn't it, though? <laughs> it does look awful, but it looks interesting. The problem is the rest of the stuff. It's all just... Everything's just superheroes now, isn't it? I mean, mm, yeah. Aquaman's coming out. Um, yeah, Captain Marvel, isn't that out? I think it might be just 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 in the new year, maybe. Oh, I don't okay. know. Um, Chris will be happy because Mary Poppins Returns is coming out. Which... <laughs> his favourite film. Yeah, he does yeah. love a bit of Mary Poppins, doesn't he? Uh, didn't he say it was his favourite film at one point? I think he did. Yeah. 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 Odd. Well, we'll have to ask him again. Um... Yeah, but the the only one I'm looking forward to is Mortal Engines. Have you seen the trailer for that? Oh yes, that does look quite interesting. It's from books, isn't it? Yeah, I read the first book. It's it's a kind of um, not really. It's like a teen fiction sort of thing, oh, okay. like Hunger Games, but not really. It's no. basically in the future, towns are like these giant moving things that eat other towns. Like oh, okay. they're huge rolling towns. Point. Cities. <laughs> I'm not describing this very well. <laughs> that sort of roll through the apocalypse, and if they like meet a settlement, they eat up the settlement and like use the stuff from them. Okay. Quite a nice idea. No, I've um, seen the trailer. The trailer looked good. Yeah, so there's a couple of things coming out to look forward to there. I think that it's sort of, but, but I mean, in general, I just think it's a it's quite sad, really, that there seems to be an endless amount of these like low budget ones we're highlighting here, don't there? Yeah, but, but in terms of big budget, yeah, that's no, true. It's true. It's, Disney swallowed it all, wasn't it? With, with Marvel, it's kind of all well. Gone until that they're way, not but... successful, then they will, they won't. You know, until someone comes along with something and it's successful, mm. it's that thing they keep repeating the same things that make money, but then they won't take a risk. So what we need is one of these small films, maybe to like maybe if Bleeding Steel does more business than any other movie, maybe <laughs> breaks we'll, out. Yeah. yeah, maybe we'll be seeing a lot more Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> versus Anakin yeah, Skywalker films in the future. Who knows? We, we can hope. <laughs> right. Well, that that's all for this week anyway, I think. We've, we've watched some f- films. Um, mm. we're, we're back next week with similar. We're gonna. I've got a bunch of trailers we're going to watch, and they're older, so we're allowed to watch those for Ooh. the list. Yeah. So, and, and as Chris isn't here, we can pick whatever we bloody well like, can't we? Yeah. So, so yeah... yeah. Uh, if you're still with us, tune in next week for a similar and then back to a normal programme the week after that. Um, Indeed. That's all for now. See you next week. Bye. Bye.